Hey, welcome to today's Daily Sprint. We're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, meaning, and today is a real life life lesson that just happened to me this past weekend. Pardon the mess around us. We are moving out of our studio condo into our home. So happy, happy. So I was at my mom's and she had asked if I could help her. Um, they had had some flooding, so she had a big pile of dirt that she wanted to move from high ground to the lower ground. So look at all manual labor, I love it, I'm a mule. So of course, the first thing is, when your mom asks you for help and she's a little bit older, you, you say yes, enthusiastically, you're a joyful giver. And I was happy to, uh, to move the dirt, not a problem, it was a nice day outside, got my shovel, grabbed the wheelbarrow, and we're out there. So the first of several li uh, lessons here, I'm gonna teach four, the first is be decided. When you say you're gonna do something, follow through because wait, there's more. So we got there, little did I know that this wheelbarrow had a, a hole in the tire. So when you fill up a wheelbarrow full of dirt, it is near impossible. As strong as you are, as much as you bench and deadlift, it is near impossible to get that wheelbarrow to move. It's like, ah, and you know, then it topples over. Horrible. I'm like, this is not what I signed up for. So the first life lesson is you make money, you make impact, you do good with what you have, okay? So I was slowly going, you know, just slowly you know, doing this dirt with the, the, the wheels, like boop, 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 you know what I'm saying? But I had to make good with what I had. I'm like, man, this is gonna take forever. That's where the second, the second life lesson came. Drop my ego, because we also had a smaller, like a little peewee wheelbarrow, like that your five, seven year old might use, or your five year old might use. And I'm like, I'm not using that, you know? Well, guess what? The wheel on that one worked just fine. Was I able to do small or like big loads? No, I did much smaller loads, but I was able to keep moving forward. So that was uh, lesson number two. Drop the ego, and sometimes in your business, in your life, you might have to use tools that you might think you're outgrowing. Well, guess what? Sometimes that is all that's available unless you wanna be pushing the heavy wheelbarrow with the flat, uh, the flat tire. And then finally, the third kind of goes with drop your ego. I finally thought, well, wait, my mom has neighbors. And it's not the necessarily the type of neighborhood my mom knows, like all her neighbors and everything. So I just you know, figured like, I'll get to know them. So I went, knocked on the door, knock, knock, knock. They kind of apprehensive me, the dogs there, roof, roof, you know, kind of oh, just peek in, like who's this guy knocking at my door? And I asked, might you have a wheelbarrow I can borrow? Holy cow, not only do they have the wheelbarrow, they have the Mac Daddy of all wheelbarrows. Double wheels, this thing was like, whoosh. I got the job done in like 30 minutes. Um, they had just filling up this, this wheelbarrow, so getting the, the dirt from here to over there. So asking for help. So in your business, the three lessons that we can take from this is work with what you have. Don't say, oh, I need this, I need that. Work with what you have, make impact, make money, make, have, make a difference with what you have. Number two, Drop the ego. Sometimes you may not have the fancy schmancy logo or whatever it is that you think that you need. So work with what you have, drop the ego and use the tools that you have. And then number three, ask for help. Those three things, life lesson. Hopefully this is well received. You have a great growth driven rest of your day.